Ian has become a very happy and comfortable with himself person. It's totally fine. I don't need to say the N word. I'm not even kidding. The most confident, the most happy I've ever seen Ian is in the past like three years of his life. There was just a lot of things that Ian had never experienced or understood. Like um, he had never met a Muslim and then he ended up marrying one. How? No way, bro. You can't be real. He's taken her last name, my brother. Oh man. That's Bismillah, you are Ma Yeah, mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> I taught him the, the fatia. He is deeply in pain. There's a video of him chopping a Quran in half. Oh, uh, okay. Well, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. I think we gotta go back into our fantasy world of Minecraft. <laughs> oh, look, it's beautiful. Hey, the sun's oh, out. It's better. Nothing to worry about. Women creators are shaping the gaming space by building amazing communities. There are so many beautiful, vibrant, talented, incredible women content creators on Twitch. Women creators are shaping this industry in such a beautiful way simply by being themselves. I celebrate women on Twitch every day by being the, the representation that I seek. I have this little corner of the internet that I'm able to just create this really nice space for people. Women creators are needed so that the next generation never has to hear she's only successful because she's a girl. Can I say women f***ing rule? Uh, so when the Sam Hyde document, when he went to go film it, one, I was terrified. I was like super uncomfortable. <sighs> I have been around people like Sam before, before I was on the internet, and uh, they are very uh, unpredictable people, and I don't like unpredictable people. My dad always used to talk about um, the scorpion and the frog. I don't know if you guys like have ever heard that story, the scorpion and the frog. One day, the scorpion is stranded on an island, and uh, he really, he, he needs to get off the island because he's we're going to take it and pour it right so into the toilet. Like, okay, Notice how it collects you know, all the pasta the perfectly right on top. And what you want to do is you want to take this lid, you're going to bring it down and give it a good push. That will drain even more water out. If you disconnect it back here, you can pick it up. And now like you can and bring it right just to the are. kitchen. Um, anyways, you gotta learn from the scorpion and the frog. In Anissa's own words, Sam, you are a scorpion and Ian is a frog. Some kind of Muslim story fable, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so, man. I think it's the opposite, my fellow. He's the scorpion? He's a, he's a snake. Oh, there we go. What do you think about that? I think he's, um, he might be too foolish to be evil. But... He's got an ego. Yeah. And he, he thinks he's a f***ing, like, mastermind. He definitely viewed me as a, um, a tool. Like yeah. a <clears throat> documentary subject, stepping stone, guy that he could eviscerate with his big brain in order to make 4chan stop calling him a cuck. Or do you think I, that she is the puppet master? She is like, you remember, you remember Master Blaster from uh, Mad Max Thunderdome? That's the situation exactly. Master Blaster scenario. Is a Master Blaster scenario. <laughs> I don't know a Master Blaster scenario, but it sounds important. Master is the little guy and Blaster is the big guy. And he, <laughs> oh, I, That's Anissa on top and that's I-dubs in the mask. Operates him like a giant tank. They're very close. They're twain. As Sticks, Hex, as Sticks, Hex, and Hammer 666 would say. The only thing Ian was nervous about was whether or not he was going to get good footage. Ian's always nervous about that. He's Every time he like goes and films something, he always feels like he's not doing enough or asking the right questions. Uh, so he gets like in his head about it. At the, at the tail end of the documentary, when he wasn't getting the footage that he wanted, he was really upset, like, like, like an angry, like he was pouting not to me but to somebody on the crew he said usually i'm the puppet master in these situations i don't think people understand how much of that kind of like took precedent over like ian's emotions i remember it was like day one day two and then i think on day three it was when it was revealed have you tried to get her any help uh no seeing as she's a girl i paid 500 dollars to shave her head and pretend to be my girlfriend no i haven't tried to get her any help are you serious you know, date a girl that has her hair shaved like that yes mental case yes 
Sam was throwing around a lot of like addiction stories and like he had met Danny and he was really concerned about Danny. That actually took up like, I know it was like a smaller part in the documentary, but like Ian's concern for Danny and if, she was okay and if it was even morally correct to continue filming that like kind of took over his mind like a lot more than i think people realize it was like morally like very hard for him did the girl from idub's documentary be a part of more stuff no <laughs> people are gonna be like what's the backstory and then they're gonna be oh my god what's happened i got like a text from her it was basically like, my boyfriend's a neo-Nazi, and he has in a gang, and he will shoot you. Can we because I asked, because I asked her to be in like a follow-up thing. Yeah. She was like, tried. she was like, my boyfriend really didn't like that. He's a neo-Nazi. He's in a real gang. He will shoot you. Like I was like, what the f am I looking at? I was looking at this test. Like, what the f is this? Yeah, that's a hard no. <clears throat> so no, the, um, unfortunately. It wasn't that? It was faked, but at the time he didn't know that. But he knew it was like, he knew that like, there was, there was stuff going on. He just didn't know where the line was. And when it comes to like addiction and stuff and like that kind of stuff, he didn't want to like call it out. What are you gonna do? Like say like, no, idiot. We, we, but we were gonna do like a dating thing with her, right? Yeah. That would have been the funniest thing ever. If we did a, a contest, like an MDE slash iDubs fan dating contest, to like try to f her. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian was like, at the time he phoned me and he was like, I can't do anything with this footage. That's like kind of where he was at. <laughs> Shut up. This is your office. And have 20 people in a f dentist's office. You know, this is a converted dentist's office, right? That's why there's like paintings of like whales on the walls. I think anything that's like way different than expectation it feels like oh i failed i mean Lisa and i love the promoting aspect because we, we we had control over you know all the fighters that we were brought on the card what yeah he said 100 percent on god he said that usually i'm the puppet master <laughs> in situations that's how he views himself yes yeah, scorpion because i flipped it on him when he came out here to make me look like an ass i don't think so anissa in my opinion it, it was like the most like the most successful out of everything that he's done, right? Because everybody that he's worked with up to this point has been very giving and very ready to be genuine. I knew from the get-go that he was coming out here to make me look bad. I knew from the first email what it was because he'd been getting a lot of from like 4chan right-wing type guys because of his only OnlyFans girlfriend. And so I, I was just, you know, game theory, what's, what's this guy thinking? He's thinking he's gonna, the, the shooter, the terrorist mascot, he's gonna make me look bad so that he can like get one over on the people that have been trolling him for having an OnlyFans girlfriend. Do you remember our f first interaction? No. You don't? Was it bad? What, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> there were some creators at the time who made videos about this fake pony project. Yeah. I was one of them. What did I do? He did this kind of like weird Oedipal hero worship, but hero killing in his mind thing. He came out here to punk me. You copyright claim the video. Really? Yes. And then you sent me an email. The email was, I will release the copyright claim on your video. If you can send me a video of yourself squatting 200 pounds below parallel. Why didn't you do that? You'd be so much stronger now if you'd done that. Does that sound insane? No, that doesn't. That, sound that sounds insane sound because it's like I'm trying to read someone's mind, but I knew that as soon as I saw the email in my inbox. It's a shame Sam wouldn't talk to him after he revealed the hoax. It felt like he robbed Ian's side of a proper conclusion. That's, I will say, like, if anything frustrated Ian, it was definitely that. Uh, felt like yesterday was, like, a bit incomplete. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff. He waited, too. Like, tried to you know, wait and see if like Sam would maybe be interested later on if Sam like learned that Ian had no ill intent. And this is this is how much of a scorpion I am. I literally would have trained him to beat Dr. Mike too. And like done it in, in absolute good faith and like made a fun video with him about it. That's that's how big of a scorpion I am. Even Hassan Piker or, or Idubs, like my, uh, the people I call out as a joke, like I'm willing to like horse trade with people. What I've seen and what I've heard from other people is that she is almost like his handler. 
So when, when he's, when he's uh -huh. talking to people backstage at the Creator Clash, when he's telling my crew that, that I'm kicked out, that I can't come, all that stuff, he's kind of sitting back like in the background, like approving of, of certain things that are said or just sort of sitting there. Uh, but that's, that's what I've heard um, anecdotally is that she's, uh, she's the one who does the talking in this okay. relationship. Like it's kind of strange because she's not famous. She's just, she's famous for being iDubbbz' girlfriend. What the f*** does she have an opinion about? She clearly cannot fight her own battles, so other people have to for her. Like her mother, who has a whole Kotaku article dedicated to talking about how she white knights her daughter online. Imagine your Muslim family is just watching you do this. And I've heard from her family that she's weird too. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna talk about that because her, the person that contacted me <laughs> is nice, but she's like a freak. <laughs> <laughs> just, just chatting with her family. Just yeah, yeah. I heard from her family she's weird, but I'm not allowed to go any more into that. <laughs> yeah, she is, she is weird. And this is family hits me up. Her family, uh, I've, I've been hit up, I've been hit up by her family members talking about her. Yeah? Yeah. What does that, what does that say about you and how up you are? They said, they said that you used your uh, Alzheimer's father as a, uh, like a, a, a dramatic prop. That's what Creator Clash 1 was for. It was for Alzheimer's or something like that. One of your own family members hit me up and said you don't care that much about your father. And that your father, has, you have like a strained relationship or something. We talked about like the possibility of like maybe one day going back and trying to film something again. Yeah, that would have been so awesome. One of those golden ideas that just slips away. Oh well.